My name's Ashley. I am a psychedelic educator, coach, and guide. I help individuals and couples increase their confidence, overcome dysfunction, and heal trauma using psychedelics and embodiment practices. Magic mushrooms have been the most transformative tool in my life. I was in New York when COVID hit. I was experiencing severe fibromyalgia. I was taking gabapentin, I was taking Prozac. My anxiety and depression were at a very heightened state. And so I came back to Colorado and I knew magic mushrooms had been decriminalized. I went on my first intentional magic mushroom journey two years ago. It was as if I was experiencing relaxation for the very first time. It's like the magic mushrooms made everything click. When I microdose, I'll take 0.2 grams of mushrooms. This is a strain called Shiva Lingam. I have a lab report, so I know exactly how much psilocybin I'm taking. For a microdose, I'll need 0.2 grams. So I'm gonna weigh out my mushroom cap, make sure my dose is accurate. I'm going to set my intention by saying a little prayer. And these taste just like any other mushroom you would pick up at the grocery store. And ta-da! Now that I microdose twice a week, I feel better than I ever have in my entire life. It helps me be more relaxed and focused. I am off all pharmaceutical medications. Before I started microdosing, I felt like an 80-year-old woman. And I'm gonna be 40 next week, but I feel like I'm in my 20s. Dr. Phil, I would love to know, have you tried mushrooms? And if not, would you like to? Uh, no, <laughs> I haven't. And hell no, <laughs> uh, I'm, I don't know enough about it yet. Uh, but it's working for you, and I think that's terrific. It's helped you with pain and a number of things. You know, thank God yeah. that, that you found that. Um, it works for you, and it works for you. Um, and I'm happy that you found that answer. It wouldn't be the same for everybody. No, uh, no, true. And uh, there's some pretty well-controlled studies that suggest that a lot of the effect is placebogenic. They've done double-blind studies where they've given people the actual mushroom and uh, half of the people nothing at all. They just thought they were getting it and they had the same outcome. Uh, just the expectation that they were going to get better they got better, so it wasn't the mushroom, it was just the expectation. Which is common in a lot of, of course. similar studies. Yeah, it's the yeah. same with pharmaceuticals. Yeah, and placebo effect is incredibly common. All. Yeah. And, and that's not a bad thing, necessarily. No, if, no. If they yeah. can think their way to being better. I know there's, what, over 150 types of mushrooms, if I'm not mistaken, that are red, hundred, or actually. at least, yeah. They all look alike to me. So, <laughs> me too. Mm -hmm. So when you're getting the mushrooms and doing them and, and you doing what you're doing, and I thank God you're okay. Yeah, no, I thank God I'm um, okay. But um, how do you know which mushroom you're getting and you're saying you're using 2%? So I'm taking 0.2 grams, which is equivalent to 4.6 milligrams. So the mushrooms that I take, the psilocybin mushrooms, have been tested, and I have a lab report to indicate exactly what's in them and exactly how much psilocybin I'm taking. Okay, and what is, where'd you get this lab report? Um, so there is a cup in Oakland. It's called the Hyphy Cup, and just like we have cannabis competitions, we now have competitions for mushrooms. And so these, the, the lab report was supplied as part of that competition, and as mushrooms are becoming legal and decriminalized in various parts of the U.S., we're going to be able to see these lab reports more frequently and know exactly what it is that we are putting into our bodies. Who generates that is a, a big report? Concern. Pardon? It's who, a, who generates a report? Uh, the Oakland Hyphy. The what? Oakland Hyphy. So they're decriminalized in Oakland and Santa Cruz, California as well. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.